Hello, it's James here from Riley's Autos again. Here we have a VW Crafter van, it's one of our own vans. And the engine running there, we've got the engine light on. And having a look on diagnostics here. O2 sensor is biased and the EGR flow is insufficient. So the insufficient flow from the EGR valve is probably causing something with the O2 sensor. So what we're going to try and do here today is have a look at seeing if we can clean the EGR valve without removing it from, from the van. So it's quite difficult to get off so we're going to try and clean it on the vehicle. Uh, we've done this to plenty of vehicles and it's worked but we just want to show you that it works and this is how we do it and hopefully it'll work for you. So we're going to pull the bonnet, raise it up, and we're going to use some of this DPF cleaning fluid, flushing fluid. Now we know this is for DPFs, but it's, you know, it's the same sort of job. It's going to clean out the soot. So it should do exactly the same job, cleans and removes all soot and ash. And we're going to put it through the EGR valve. We're going to put it through the entire intake system of the vehicle when it's running. And we're just going to fill our spray bottle here. And now we've got this full. We're going to remove this air intake pipe here. It's a 7mm Allen. Or, sorry, not an Allen, it's a seven, just a 7mm bolt there. We're going to open that pipe and put it here. So it's ready for our spray bottle to go in. Now on the inside of the van, because we're on our own, we're going to use one of these. Accelerator and brake depressor, laser number 3237. And we're basically just going to press that here. And then put it against the accelerator pedal. To control how many revs we want. So we're going to put that to around about 2000 RPM there. Or a little bit over. In the van, we've used our full bottle. Gonna give it some acceleration. Now we're going to take it on a drive for five to ten minutes. So we've got about 15 or 20 mile journey to go. So we're going to drive that and then we're going to get back. First of all, we're going to clear these codes. So we need to turn the ignition off. Now that's all done, we're going to take it on a drive. Gonna give it some full acceleration. Now we've got our cruise control on and we're just cruising for about ten miles. A 
stop. And as you can see there, we've got, haven't got any uh, engine, engine lights back on or any faults there. So we're gonna check our diagnostics now. And see if these faults have repaired. No fault calls. So that's great news. Obviously before, when we tried to clear the fault, they were returning within 30 seconds. So that's a good result here today. This is maybe the fourth time we've done this with this van. About once a year, or maybe 50, 60,000 miles. It's usually gives us the EGR fault there and uh, that cleaning procedure usually works on cleaning it. So we haven't had to replace it yet. So I think that's maybe three or four times now we've cleaned it over the past three or four years. So that's all good and it's all worked and I hope that will help anyone who is wondering if you could use that fluid and how you can clean it. Obviously it's better not to use any flammable fluids. That fluid we're using is non-flammable, non-corrosive. So it's the, it's the best option for the job that we could figure out.